Hey everyone, today we're going to take a look at installing and configuring the Chromium browser to work with Zap or OWASP Zap or Zap Proxy, whatever you want. Let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, open up Zap and take a look at what the default setting is when you do nothing on a new installation. Let's go into Manual Explorer, we'll type in a website, we'll type in the name of my, my blog. Let's change it to Chrome and launch browser. And we get an error, Chrome not found. Are you sure it's in your pad? So no, it's not in our pad. We need to configure it. So let's go to Google and let's download Chromium. So it's the first result, great. I'd look at this page before. There's a nice little script here in order to download the latest build of Chromium. Um, it's a GitHub so we can clone the repo. So let's do that back to a terminal. So I've installed Zap into my home directory in a folder called ZA Proxy. So let's go in there. And let's do a git clone on the name of the repo. Ah, git not found. Okay, let's install it. So no git, no curl. So let's install both curl and git because we probably need them later on. Yes. Okay. Let's run it again. Um, perfect. Into the directory, it's called Chromium Latest Linux. The last one we're interested in here is called update.sh. This is the one that downloads Chromium. If you've already got it installed, it will actually just update the version you have. Uh, okay, let that run. Have a fast internet here. And it would rotate. Okay, so it's downloaded. Let's run it, see if it works. Okay, this is the key ring. This is to do with password protection. We don't need it for, for this. Um, ignore it. Okay, let's see. Go to a website. Let's have a look at google.com. Yeah, seems to be okay. All right, so let's put it into Zap. Okay, so PWD, pay, pay attention to where we are. Into Zap. <coughs> Open options. Let's scroll down to Selenium. And Chrome, let's go into select, zap proxy where I have it installed, and select the run.sh, open. Okay. And now just launch the browser. Oh, uh oh, we got an error. The provided browser was not found, uh, but it still opened the window. Let's just take a closer look at the window. It didn't open the page I wanted to open. Will it open any page? Uh, yeah, it seems to, and I can see Zap in the background doing something. Okay, the 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 uh, HUD close the air. The hood is there. Okay, so it seems that it's working once we go by that initial error. Um, I know what the issue here is. Let me just go back to my website for a second. I this is to do with a bug that was filed against uh, Zap, so it's not necessarily a a, a, a big issue. So if you go into um, the link I have in the, in the in the section below, you will see that the Selenium driver needs to support the version of the browser that you're using. Now, Selenium is currently supporting up to version 110 of the Chrome driver, but if you take a look at the version of Chromium, you see it's version 112, so not supported. Okay, the fix here is to basically use an older version of Chromium to work with the with the version of the Chrome driver you have. Um, you can find the an older version of Chromium on the website. You can go down to where is this? Uh, no, 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 nope. Yep. Yeah, downloading old builds of Chromium. So it's on the Chromium download page. You can go in there and get an old version. It seems to work. I mean, I can type in, let's say. Let's try it again here for a second. I can type in Yahoo, and it's appearing in in the Zap window. It seems to be working okay. It's capturing everything. Can you trust it? I'm not 100% sure. But if your heart is set on using Chromium inside Zap Proxy, then it can be done. I personally wouldn't use it. I 
played with this for a while and didn't find any issues. It seemed to capture everything okay. Um, when the web driver releases an update, maybe download the newest version of the web driver and you might have um, you might have the integration working better. But yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. Thank you very much for joining. Um, I'll have another video soon coming about integration of Firefox into Zap. Uh, other than that, thank you very much for joining and I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye-bye.